Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. And today I'm going to make you a pro at holding a conversation between a PNM and a sister during sorority recruitment. Personally, before I went into any house, I think this was definitely the part that I was most nervous about, just holding a conversation for 15 minutes or more with a stranger that I know nothing about. And I feel like that's a lot of other people's fears, but don't worry because after you watch this video, I can assure you, you will feel at least 90% more confident than you did. So first, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. The PNM or the potential new member is not the one that should be asking a lot of the questions. It should be the sister because the sister is trying to find out whether her sorority is gonna be the one for you and vice versa. Obviously, the PNM can ask the sister questions about her sorority because she is also trying to see if it's the right fit for her. But unfortunately, you're not always going to get a sister that talks a lot. She might be a little bit awkward and there might be some awkward silences. So before recruitment, I kind of jotted down a bunch of questions that I would want to learn about the sorority. And if there was ever any awkward silence, I would just pull them out of my sleeve and then that would save the conversation. This also makes you look so much more confident when you don't have much awkward silence and it makes you look very interested in the sorority, which is a really good thing. So these are just some of the questions that I came up with. So the first one is, what is your favorite memory with your sorority? Do you or have you ever had a leadership position in your sorority? And if so, what is it? You can kind of bring up your hobbies too and then ask if there's a position that fits that. For example, I was really into photography and videography, so I became the photo chair. I'm also really into social media, so I became the assistant vice president of public relations. You can ask about Big Little and how they met their little, or what was your favorite memory with your little? What was your favorite philosophy that you participated in and why? You can ask if they're from out of state or in state, and depending on which one you are, you can bond over that. If they are from out of state, you can ask how was the transition coming from a different state and how did this sorority help that situation? Are you in any other clubs? If so, what are they? You can ask them to define certain sorority terms such as what is a big if you don't know what a big is or what is a philanthropy event you can ask how they balance their time between school social life and sorority what is your academic program like for example do you have study hours do you have a place to study in a house how much time commitment is a sorority what was your favorite social that you attended and why for people that don't know what a social is it's where you go to a venue with another fraternity and you dress up for a specific theme so I think that'd be kind of fun to ask them like what they dressed up as. How is Greek life involved on campus? Because sometimes people separate Greek life and clubs and on campus organizations, which obviously we are on campus organization, but I don't know, some people just like tend to separate them. So you can always ask like how they get involved with the school as a whole. Why did you join this sorority? What is the best part about being in this sorority? What is your favorite part about being Greek? What are some of the philanthropies that your sorority raises money for? What are some of the initial steps to becoming more involved in the sorority? What are some of the values that are associated with your sorority? How has your sorority changed you? Does this sorority have sisterhood events? If so, what was your favorite event? Do you keep in touch with your alumni? If so, how? What was it like when you got your big? You can even ask them about the college that you're at. So why did you choose this university? If the sorority has a house, you can ask them if they are living in the house or if they plan on living in the house and just find out about living there. Even if you aren't planning on living there, you never know, you could change your mind. What is your favorite room in the house? This is kind of a fun question to ask because it could be related to a memory that they had in that certain room. What makes your sorority unique? What are some traditions of the university that you like to participate in? You can ask about sorority dues. So those are all the questions that I can come up with right now. So now I'm gonna move on to things that you cannot and should not talk about during sorority recruitment. It's called the four Bs, boys, booze, bars, and Bibles. You also shouldn't really talk about a specific sorority. So when a sister asks you how is recruitment, do not name drop another sorority and say like, oh, well, I like this one a lot. You can tell the sister that you're really liking your options so far, but you're excited to learn more about the sororities. 
So if the sister asks what you've been doing all summer and if you say Netflix and then get on this whole rant about what's your favorite Netflix show and then you start saying quotes from Grey's Anatomy, like please don't do that because you should really take the time that you do have to have meaningful conversations and to find out more about the sorority and the sister should take advantage of that time to find out more about you. If you see a little symbol that you want to know what it is in their house, don't ask the sister because it's probably part of ritual and you'll only get to know about it after you go through initiation with that sorority. Overall, just try to be as confident as you can. I know you're gonna be tired and sweaty, but please just keep a smile on your face and sit up straight because that always makes you look more poised and confident. And while you're in the house, try to make eye contact with the sister at all times because if you're like looking around at all the other sisters, that just kind of like looks like you're not really interested in talking to the sister and you're not interested in hearing about her sorority. Like I said, you will be tired, but please do not take it out on the sister. After lunch, you're gonna feel so tired from the sun beating down on you and you're just gonna wanna get in bed and sleep, but please just treat every sister like you did with the first house. And even if you have your top sororities picked out, be respectful of all the sororities and try to learn about all of them. Because sometimes when girls know which chapters they want, they tend to kind of be standoffish to the other ones that they don't like as much. And that just does not put a good taste in the sorority's mouth of you. You want to be loved by all of Panhellenic. So just be really confident throughout the whole thing with a smile on your face. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to have my blog post linked down below where it will have all the questions that I just told you guys to ask a sister written out for you guys. So you can kind of study those and put them in the back of your mind just in case there's ever an awkward silence between the sister and you. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Oh, <laughs>